And I am just confirming now too with the MBTA that it will be morning before normal train service can resume here. A hundred people on board today, none of them injured. Thankfully, this was a slow speed derailment and we've just learned it was the third car that jumped the track. Crews finally moved that train out of here about 30 minutes ago and you're looking at a thorough inspection of the rails now underway. Six new Orange Line cars derailed and stranded for hours in the work zone of the Wellington Station train yard. It happened just before noon. The 100 people on board not hurt, just inconvenienced. So were thousands of other commuters that had to be bused between Oak Grove and Community College. It has more time. How much? About a half an hour. I go to my work at a restaurant. Is it making you late for work? Yeah. Others told us the team moved quickly to bring in shuttles. Very organized, actually, yeah. Very organized with the buses. T officials tell us the northbound train was traveling at a slow rate of speed, crossing over to a southbound track when it derailed. It took crews five hours to place those cars back on the tracks and finally get them moving again. By 2023, the T hopes to have 132 new Orange Line cars up and running. 32 have been delivered so far. This is one of four new Orange Line trains currently in service. It's not clear why it jumped the tracks today or if any of the new train cars were damaged. As for commuters, most took the mishap in stride. This veteran rider telling me he's learned to always give himself extra time when relying on the T. I tend to plan with these kind of things in mind. They're not getting any better. Now, riders are being told to expect delays while repair crews inspect these tracks. We're told bus service will continue to replace the train between Oak Grove and Sullivan Square through the end of service tonight. Again, it will be morning before regular train service is restored on this orange line. I'm Mary Salata, WCBB News Center 5. Okay, Mary, thank you for that. So the first new Orange Line trains went into service back in August of 2019. You may recall they were pulled from service that December because of a strange noise, which was later found to be tied to a wear pad. In March of 2020, the trains were taken out of service again after inspectors identified a fault with a piece of equipment that allows the train to turn.